Hello my dear family members, Bhartuza started hiring but materials for preparation are hardly available. How to get all computer science fundamental questions, how to get the power coding questions and how to be prepared overall. Just chill, I would request you give me a chance to make you prepared. If I get good response in this video, then I will keep uploading all type of questions, right? By the way, today we will go through some important computer fundamental questions asked previously. As there will be DSA questions, operating systems, OOPS concept and from RDBMS or SQL questions of total 30 marks. So we will now focus on each of them one by one. So now in this video we will focus on important OOPS questions which are very important for Bhattusha or any or campus question right okay so the first question is which of the following class is known as the generic class final class template class abstract class or none of the above i hope you will always pause the video and try to answer before i explain the answer right okay so which is the correct answer uh the correct answer actually will be template class right because what is generic class? Generic classes are those uh, which uh, works with different data types, right? So among the following, most correct, I mean, most suited answer will be template class, right? Next question is, which of the following is not a member of the class? Static function, constructor, deconstructor, or friend function, which will be the correct answer? Okay, so actually, uh, let me explain a little, that is, so what are the static functions? Uh, static functions are those uh, we use inside a class uh, to create, I mean, we, we can call them without creating an object, right? I hope you know, but uh, I'm just remembering you, right? Uh, helping to remember, okay? And what are the constructors? Constructors are those uh, which are also member of the class and whenever we call an object, uh, it calls the constructor at first then implement the methods inside that class right so i hope uh, you know all of them but you might not know about friend function right so this is the correct answer in this uh, question right this is not a member of the class okay the next question is which of the following is a false about an interface an interface can extend another interface an interface can implement another interface a class which is implementing an interface must implement all the methods of the interface. An interface is a solution for multiple inheritance in Java. This will be a quick question for you. Please pause the video and try to keep the answer before anyone can, anyone can answer, right? So, I hope you will. Okay, the next question is, does OOP provide better security than POP? I mean, the procedural oriented programming right so always true for any programming language it's depend on the type of the program or may not be true with respect to all programming languages or it's vice versa uh, is true so i hope uh, you have knowledge uh, you have little knowledge about ops or pop right actually uh, in this uh, following the correct answer will be always true for any programming language right okay the next question is fall through in a switch case statement prevents the next case after the matching clock to be executed or allows the next case after the matching clock to be executed or no fall through occurs in the switch case or none of the above i hope you know what is fall through in a switch case right actually in a switch if a case block does not end with a break statement then the control will fall through the next case block as well and uh, the next statements will be executed or uh, it will be printed whatever right so actually this behavior is called as fall through so in this case the answer will be fall through allows the next case after the matching block to be executed right okay so i hope you know the basics of switch case i mean the loops right so the next question is the subclass constructor uses the dash keyword to invoke the constructor of the superclass super public final static 
ओके एक्चुअली दिस इज अ बेसिक क्वेश्चन सो आई विल गिव यू द आंसर ओनली राइट सो इन दिस केस द करेक्ट आंसर विल बी सुपर राइट ओके द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज डैश इज यूज टू डिक्लेयर एंड इनिशियलाइज एन ऑब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम अनदर ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ सेम क्लास इन सी प्लस प्लस ओवरलोड कंस्ट्रक्टर नॉन सॉरी नॉन पैरामीटर इज कंस्ट्रक्टर और कॉपी कंस्ट्रक्टर वट विल बी द करेक्ट इन दिस केस actually the correct answer will be copy constructor right because in c++ a copy constructor is used to declare and initialize an object from another object of the same class right so the copy constructor suits the best in this following among the following options right question 9 is dash feature supports reusability and extensibility of classes overriding polymorphism inheritance and overloading these concepts are very very much important so whatever company you are uh, for you are preparing for and whatever language you are learning please uh, please please learn these uh, four terms overriding polymorphism inheritance and overloading this will be always importance for you for your interview or for your exams right so what is overriding or what is polymorphism or inheritance or overloading so what is overriding overriding is the process of providing a new implementation for a method in a subclass and it replace the implementation of inheriting from the superclass right so what is polymorphism polymorphism is the ability of an object to take on multiple forms allowing objects of different types to be treated as objects of a common type right and what is inheritance inheritance is also an oops concept that allows a new class to inherit properties and behaviors from an existing class right and it uh, helps to promote the reusability and what is overloading overloading is a feature that allows a class to have multiple methods with the same name but different parameters or types and it enables flexibility in the method invocation right so what will be the correct answer in this case so the correct answer will be inheritance this helps this uh, supports the reusability and extensibility of classes more right so the next question is which of the following is the shared structure of a set of similar objects encapsulation class inheritance and none of the above what will be the correct answer among the following okay the correct answer will be class right the next question is in oops concept public private and protected are classes or method signature or interfaces or access modifiers uh these are actually access modifiers right nothing to explain whatever variables or functions you will initialize in the uh, oops in the in the program programming language you have to give access according to the authorization right so you you may initialize as public or private and protected as per requirement right so the next question is a member function can always access the data in dash the class of which it is a member the object of which it is a member or the public part of its class or the private part of its class so the correct answer will be the class of which it is member right so if you know the basics of oops then you could have answered this already before i answered right so the next question and the last question of this session is a quiz question for you using the concept of encapsulation security of the data is ensured to some extent purely ensured not ensure or very low what will be the correct answer please give all the quizzes answer in a single comment i will give you a heart to your comment and will reply also so i hope this uh, this video was helpful to you if you found this video helpful then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding bartusa and if you want uh, any other materials any other companies uh, videos then please recommend me in the comment section and 
please share this content with your friends so that they can also take help from this right so thank you for today's session